I took and passed the Encore 350-401 this weekend. What did I think about it and how did it go? That's what this video is all about. Well, the title of this video says it all. On a whim, I'm sitting in bed on Friday night thinking, what the heck? Let's just see. Let's just see where I stand. And that way, if I don't pass, I'll just know what I need to focus on and where I need to dig in deeper. But out of nowhere, I decided to take it Saturday morning. And I did just that. I took it Saturday morning. I did the online process. I thought that was a, a pretty smooth process overall. I walked through the prep steps first. I sent in my pictures and everything just to make sure it all worked. So that way when it came time to actually take the exam, uh, I knew what the process was. And that was a pretty smooth process overall. It took about 15 minutes to get everything checked in. And once I was checked in, boom, I, I was communicating with a proctor and we were off to the races taking the exam. I know you're dying to know, like, what did I think about the exam? Was it hard? Was it easy? Uh, focus on XYZ topics or whatever. Um, and, and we're going to get to all of that. So yeah, I, I just wanted to take the exam and see where I stood personally. I was taking some boson practice exams and after I took them a couple times, uh, I started scoring really well. I started scoring close to an 100% on each of the three exams that come with the boson practice exams. I was just like, let's just see because maybe there's something I'm missing or maybe uh, you know, the boson practice exams don't focus on one specific topic. So I decided let's just roll with it and take it. Um, and I did. So the first thing I'll say is I had technical difficulties in the middle of the exam. I was around question 40 something and my computer literally just froze up and locked up, would not respond to anything. I sat there waiting to see if it would come back to life and it just flat out didn't. So I had to force power to shut it down turn it back on and while the computer was coming back to life the proctor called me on my, my cell phone and I told them look I swear there's no funny business happening here uh, we can FaceTime you can watch me if you want to um, I, I'm literally just trying to turn my computer back on so that I can get back into the exam and they were very accommodating and understanding um, and were totally okay with it once I got back into the exam somebody else in the proctor who was proctoring the exam chatted me and asked me you know, who did you just speak to on the phone? Um, and uh, was it a Pearson employee? And I told them everything and said, like, look, this is exactly what happened. I'm so sorry. Uh, I totally understand you need to look into this or whatever. Um, but I swear I'm just I'm just sitting here, um, you know, just trying to get back into the exam and take the exam. So they were accommodative. Uh, and that was that was really good. Um, the exam itself. OK, so if you search around, if you Google around, maybe you're checking Reddit or you're watching other people's channels you'll see very mixed things. You'll see some people say like, oh my God, it was so incredibly easy. Uh, there's no way it'll be this easy. You know, six months from now, they're going to make it so much harder. Uh, and then you'll see other people who say like, I studied for six months and was caught off guard by it. Uh, I think the truth is somewhere in the middle. There were some questions on my exam that I thought were of the CCNA level. I was like, wow, that is a, a very easy question. On to the next one. And then that very next question would be like, I've never seen this before in my life. So there, there were some questions that were, were quite difficult and it's, you know, a pretty healthy mix of both. So, you know, don't go in there thinking it's going to be a breeze. Don't go in there underprepared. And, but also know that some of the questions that you may be hit with might not be as difficult as you may be expecting. I mean, think about the spirit of this exam in general. This is the core enterprise professional exam. Core meaning we're laying a foundation in all of the enterprise topics right now. And then your specialist exam is what is going to take you into that advanced level. That's what's going to upgrade you into the more challenging things. So you set your core foundation in things like automation, wireless, software-defined WAN, software-defined access, um, routing with routing protocols like OSPF, BGP, EIGRP, which I heard called EI grip this weekend and my mind is still not over that. Anyways, then there is a specialist exam for each one of those topics for you to get more advanced and deeper into. Uh, that's not to say again that this exam was easy. This is a professional level exam, but they're not going to hit you with advanced topics, I don't think in my opinion, until you're going into those specialist exams. I would say this is a, a solidly intermediate level exam. And then when you go into the specialist, uh, that's when you get the advanced topics. So for me, I am now a CCNP and DevNet professional because I took the in 
auto exam. The in auto exam counts towards both. So you can get a DevNet professional and a CCMP with three exams, DevCore, Encore, and in auto. Uh, and that's what I did. That doesn't mean I'm not going to take other specialist exams. On my journey towards CCIE, I am definitely going to take an RC. I'm going to take the design exam. I'm going to take SD-WAN. So fully expect to be working on those in the coming months as I as I journey towards CCIE. But this this feels this feels great. I failed route a few years back, so I felt like I had unfinished unfinished business with CCNP, and to an extent, I still feel like I have unfinished business with NRC. So this is a, a big milestone, a big win for me. Um, but it wasn't the goal. The goal has always been CCIE. So uh, while I'm very pleased and proud and celebratory, um, I'm back to business today, working on what's coming next. So now the keys to success. CBT Nuggets. I, I know this is biased because I work for them and, and I even taught some nuggets in this course, but I, I will go ahead and say, first of all, I scored 100% on the automation section. So I feel great about the automation content that was covered there. I scored weakest in assurance and security. People had told me that those were challenging sections. Uh, and sure enough, I, I didn't score well in those. You know, we can also be honest here, like there's things that motivate us and things that you have to get through. And in a lot of ways, assurance and security, uh, those don't quite stoke the fire for me the way automation, software defined networks and routing and, and uh, switching do. So um, it could just be a motivation and internal interest thing for me that caused me to kind of glaze over those topics. Whatever, um, you know, <laughs> the person who graduates last in med school is still called a doctor. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I feel I feel good overall about being a CCNP and getting this milestone underneath me and going towards it. So again, what, what, what were the keys to my success? CBT Nuggets, I feel like because we broke up this gigantic course among trainers, they could focus into the details about these specific topics that they recorded on. And I can pretty confidently say that the bases were covered in our Encore exam course. If, if I had nothing else, if I had no other resources available to me, uh, having CBT nuggets with labs and taking notes, that, that was a pretty amazing first step and, and a pretty critical key to my success. Number two in my key to success behind CBT nuggets would be the boson practice exam. They really did get me into the mindset of the types of questions that could be answered and thinking about the specific details that would be asked too. So can't stress that enough. CBT Nuggets first, boson practice exams next. Then I would say probably the official cert guide. The official cert guide was, was good and it certainly filled in gaps where you know maybe I wasn't paying attention or whatever the case was. Um, but was it like absolutely crucial to my success? I don't know. Uh, I, I really feel like CBT Nuggets and Boson and practice exams might have been what really set me over the finish line there. Um, certainly reading the official cert guide doesn't hurt. My method has always been Nuggets, then Book, then Lab, then Practice Exams. Uh, for the Encore exam, it's largely theoretical. There's a lot of things in there that you can't lab in the first place. So I wouldn't even say that labs, labs were great for drilling home the routing and switching fundamentals and practices and some of the assurance items for me too. But I'm actually gonna put labs at dead last for my preparation on the Encore exam. Now, when it comes to specialist exams, yeah, labs are gonna be right up there because now we're on the command line and we're hitting the keys and we're you know doing the advanced deployments and things. So I think the key to my success here was CBT nuggets, then practice exams, then cert guide, then labs. So now, I am officially a CCNP, that's awesome. And I am continuing my journey towards CCIE. I am already dug, digging into the next topic. I can't talk about the next topic yet, but I will be talking about it soon enough in the coming weeks right here on YouTube. And I'm really, really excited about it too. So that has been my take on the Encore exam. If you have questions, feel free to hit it up in the comments below. I will be very attentive to what those questions are and whatever I can answer, because I'm not going to violate the NDA, uh, I will be happy to jump in and comment and answer them. Also get at me on Twitter because I'm available there. I'm, I'm always on Twitter. So feel free to access me that way too. All right, y'all. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one.